RPM Hire have a new highway barrier guard to meet and exceed the industry standards. Here's Ash to give you the rundown. Ash here, the owner and managing director of RPM Hire, Australia's leading traffic management hire company. I'm thrilled today to be showcasing a brand new, world-class product that is not only innovative, saving you time and money, but most importantly, bringing a much higher level of protection to your workers, uh, making it one of only a handful of products that has been tested and approved to the highest rating available for temporary barriers. I'd just like to show you some of the features of the highway guard barrier that sets it apart from every other barrier that's on the market at the moment today. So the first thing we notice about this barrier is it's rated to mash tail 4. So compared to a, a mash tail 3 barrier is a 2200 kilo vehicle hitting the barrier. A mash tail 4 is a 10 ton truck uh, hitting the barrier. So what that means really, really quickly is that we know how the barrier is going to perform uh, with a significant increase in impact energy. We can install these optional wheel sets inside the barrier uh, meaning that if you'd like to get in behind the barrier, you can just lift the T-connectors out at each end, wind the wheels down and roll the barrier out by hand, saving you the need to have expensive cranes and riggers on site to get access behind the barrier. So we've got two different pinning arrangements with this barrier, the standard deflection system or the L LDS or the low deflection system, allowing you to achieve a, a deflection of only 680 millimetres behind this barrier. We've put a lot of thought into the anti-gork screens that attach to the barrier. We've gone with a really high quality sealed edge around the poly pan uh, and we've removed any noise vibrations from the gork screen attachment to the barrier, meaning that you're not going to have residents complaining about noise when a truck drives past the barrier. With this barrier we've got a range of angled T-connectors or angled barrier sections available in either two and a half, five or ten degree sections, meaning that we can achieve a radius of as low as 3.6 metres. This allows you to build the barrier sections around curves, uh, around intersections, roundabouts, whatever you might require. If you need protection, we can make it happen. So the fact we can load 250 metres of highway guard onto a single semi makes it 900% cheaper than transporting concrete barriers. So here we can see the narrow footprint of the barrier and the narrow profile. Uh, we call this piece here the trafficable foot, uh, meaning that you can get the barrier a lot closer to the line of traffic and giving you more space behind the barrier to work. So a lot of time and uh, thought has been put into all the features of the barrier and the anchor points are no exception. Uh, three different slots we can use to pin the barrier to the ground at each anchoring point, meaning that if you hit Rio or if you hit a hard rock, you can just move over to the next hole, um, making the installation a lot quicker, saving you time, money and getting more done uh, on, in, in the same amount of time. If you've got existing BG800 barrier on site and you want to create an, a, a section of that barrier where there's where you need reduced deflection or you need the higher MASH TL4 rating, we've got an approved transition barrier that connects the BG800 to the highway guard barrier and then back again at the other end if you want. Uh, and that's all been tested and approved and is good, good for use. So the barriers actually come in six metre sections but the great thing is you can join two of them together and lift them as a 12 metre section. Once again, saving you time and money. So here we are, we've got two 6 metre sections joined together as one 12 metre piece which can be lifted and brought out to site. We've got the T connector already on, so uh, we drop this barrier onto the one that's already down on the ground. And we've got one nut to join it all together. Here we have the narrow profile of the highway guard. We've got the trafficable foot, uh, meaning that you can get the barrier closer to the line of traffic, giving you more space to work behind the barrier. Here we have our integrated anchor points. It also acts as drainage for the barrier, 
uh, we've got three different anchor points we can use. If we strike trouble in one ground, we hit a bit of Rio or a rock or something, we move along to the next one. Once again, quicker installation time, saving you time and money. Here we have our integrated T connector. It's 43 kilos, a two man lift, we can lift it out. Uh, if we go down the next six metres, we can lift another one out and then we can create our gate mid run. So using these holes inside the barrier, we can attach a wheel set inside the barrier. And if we want to break the barrier mid run and, and uh, pull a barrier out, we can lift out the T connectors, wind the wheels down so they take the weight of the barrier and just push the barrier out by hand. No craneage, no dogman needed, saving you time and money again. Hi, I'm Steve Richards. I'm well and truly aware how important safety barriers have been to protect spectators and drivers during my driving career. Whether on the racetrack or the highway, the design of the barrier system is ultra important to ensure that it has the right stiffness to protect the work site, but also have the flexibility to be able to absorb an impact from a vehicle for the protection of the vehicle and its occupants. So Ash, this barrier's got anchor points everywhere. Why can't we just maximise its contact with the road and create the stiffest barrier possible? Yeah, great question, Steve. And in doing so, we'd have very small deflection behind the barrier, giving us more space to work. However, it comes at a trade-off. So this barrier is tested with a 10-tonne truck. If we have a really rigid, stiff system, the truck's going to impact the barrier and it's actually going to roll over the top of the barrier and then into the work site, creating a big hazard for our workers. So there's a trade-off between the stiffness of the barrier and the deflection zone behind it versus the occupant safety and the safety of the vehicle actually striking the barrier. And so the highway guard, I think, has got it right. It's been tested with a 10 tonne truck. It's also been tested with a smaller vehicle as well. Um, so we can use uh, those different scenarios when assessing uh, the performance of the barrier. So in summary, uh, I'm really excited that we're launching the uh, highway guard barrier here in Australia. It's MASH TL4 rated, meaning that it's been tested to be hit with a 10 tonne truck. Uh, we've got up to 250 metres on the one truck, lowering your transportation costs. We've got the T-connector, uh, meaning that you can pluck barriers out mid-string and get access in behind the barriers. Ease of installation, all of that combined, I think it's the best barrier on the market and I'm really excited to be bringing it to Australia.